Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, on this cool February 17th broadcast of Saddleback College Basketball on KSBR.org HD2 and Saddleback uh, College GTVR's YouTube channel. Today's matchup is going to be between the uh, Saddleback Bobcats and the uh, Bolton College uh, Hornets. Tonight's matchup, the Saddleback College Bobcats are currently 16-9 overall in five, <coughs> five tied with the uh, Urban Valley College for fourth in conference standings. Three games remaining in conference play for Saddleback College, including tonight's matchup. Another game made up, added uh, Santa Ana February 25th to finish off the Orange Empire Conference OEC for short play. Looking to build momentum from their critical 73-64 win over Irvine, Irvine Valley College the last Tuesday. David Taylor scored 25 points and <coughs> Jimmy Reyes dropped 21 points as well versus Irvine Valley. The Bobcats are trying to build a strong and stay in contention for California Community College Athletic Association, CCCAA State Leopard and so the regionals typically five teams make it each year. Southback tries to be one of those five teams, though they're getting on the cusp of clinching the berth with the remaining games in the schedule. Southback has three games left in their schedule, and they're all tough games in my opinion, which are, of course, tonight's uh, Fulton matchup, then third place Riverside. Then they have a game to finish the schedule with Santa Ana on the 25th. That's a crucial such of games. Most of them are, if not all of them, are must win. But first, the Bobcats have to stay focused on visiting Fulton College Hornets. The Hornets are uh, on a 10 and 1 in conference play, with just recently lost to Riverside, but they're 20 and 2 overall in conference play, easily the best team in conference, and they're looking to rebound from that tough loss to Riverside on Tuesday. Mark, what are some things to look at for Fullerton? When I see on the court, I see a lot of size, a lot of height. That looks like a lot of mismatches for Saddleback College. Yeah, and good evening to you from high above the northern sideline here at Saddleback College, as we like to say, because we are well above the court here, but we're glad to bring you this game. Tanner Aparicio on the play-by-play, -play, and I am Mark Spin. Fullerton is huge, but, you know, they're the biggest team in the conference. Their front line goes 6'7", 6 6'8", 6 6 9", and their backcourt is 6'4", and, you know, 5'11", tonight. So Saddleback, with the largest, tallest player they have, being Gerald Jones III, is 6'10". After that, it drops off to 6'3", across the board at the, at the tallest. So the size disparity is going to be something difficult. Interestingly, uh, both teams are averaging 36 rebounds a game, and Fullerton does not typically out-rebound their opponents by a significant amount, so I don't expect them to play a superpower height game, but uh, they can do that against uh, the Bobcats if they need to. Interesting side note tonight is that their leading scorer, Kobe Newton, their guard uh, is not playing. He played limited minutes in the loss to Riverside on Tuesday night, which snapped their 12-game winning streak when they lost to Riverside, their first loss in conference. And we don't know why Kobe Newton is not playing. I'm not sure if it's uh, protocol-related or other illness, etc. We will try and find that out for you. But apparently he is not going to be playing for the Hornets this evening. But uh, Corey Joseph will step into the starting lineup for Fullerton, who looks to win tonight and finish out their season strong uh, in games they have left San Diego Canyon uh, I believe they have a couple of, of with Fullerton yeah they play San Diego Canyon and it'll be interesting to see if Fullerton can rebound and get back to clinching the conference championship because they do have a one game lead over Riverside who's 12 and 2 Fullerton's 10 and 1. Yep looks like a, both must win games for each team and we'll be back with the uh, start of the game real soon. See you.
VR. This is Tanner Parisio and Mark Spin. We're going to call this uh, matchup between the Southback College Bobcats and the uh, Fullerton College Hornets. And we'll begin the starting lineup real soon. Yeah, we're just getting ready to get that going. I heard uh, from Saddleback staff that uh, they're optimistic about a state playoff berth in the Southern Regional because of the way they've been playing recently. Yeah. So if they can get one more win before we're done here, I think that they could actually get that playoff berth. Starting lineups are going to be for uh, Fullerton College. Javon Jones at the number four, six foot four guard, then followed by Chaz Hutchinson, forward slash center, six foot nine. Then we have Tristan Williams, forward, six foot eight, followed up by number 15, Ronnie Stapp, guard forward. And then Corey, jo uh, yeah, Corey Joseph, guard 5'11. Looks like they'll fill out the remaining starting lineup. And then for Southback. Yeah, it's interesting, uh, Tanner, that uh, both Tristan Williams and Chaz Hutchinson are from right down the road at Mission Viejo High School. Yeah, you'd think they would go here because it's only like a couple minute drive. They found a better opportunity or a better reason to go to Fullerton, and so they are Hornets instead of Bobcats. Yep. And starting guards for the Southback College is Akiba Taylor, number one, followed by him is a Jimmy Reyes, number two, the other guard in the lineup. And then six center, uh, Gerald Jones, the third, number three, of course. Key factor tonight, Gerald Jones the third. He is the only size that can match up well with uh, Florida College. And then number 11, the point guard Nick Bowen, of course, one of the best shooters in the in the county. He had been on fire as of late. And then Jimmy Ray, followed up by a Derek uh, Derek Rubido, that finished out the starting lineup. Same starting lineup as the last few games. Looks like Co Coach Oliver has got it down to a patentee. All right, yeah, the Bobcats are coached by Jeff Oliver and of in course, his first official full season mm -hmm. in Fullerton. As a course coached by uh, Perry Webster in the seventh year of coaching, and we're getting the jump ball real soon. Our officials, our officials are ball. Aaron Schumann, Michael Moreno, and Shamar McKenzie for this Orange Empire contest, Orange Empire Conference contest, and we are ready to go, Tanner Aparicio. Yes, here we go with Gerald Jones and uh, Chaz Hutchinson with the jump ball to start off the game. And we're underway. Fulton won the ball with Chess Hutchinson as Corey Joseph brings the ball up the court. Nick Bowen picking him up really well. Up, yep, yep. Uh, ball movement kicks it out to uh, uh, Ronnie Stapp and drive. He goes to three for Corey Joseph, just off. Rebound to Tiba Taylor, brings up the court, passes Nick Bowden. Nick Bowden gives it up to Jimmy Reyes as he brings up the ball center of the court, right on the logo. Being guarded, of course, by Ronnie Stapp. Kicks it out to Nick Bowden, guarded by uh, Corey Joseph. Just gets a good pick from uh, Gerald Jones the third. Fills up for three. Just off rebound. Uh, Rubido is everyone on the rebounding glass. Once Gives us again. the first lead of the points. It's going to be 2-0 Bobcats. Zero horns thus far. Mm -hmm. And for Joseph winning the ball on the right side of the court. Gets a stick from uh, Charles Chaz. Picks it up to uh, Tristan Williams. Williams gives it to Javon Jones. Oh, oh fight for the ball for Derek Rubido. Almost got the steal. Kicks it out to... Uh, uh, Ronnie Staff for three. It's good. Gives the first, the second lead change of the game. The Fulton uh, Hornets three. Slide back Bobcats two. All right, Bowen moves ball to the court. Gives that to uh, Jimmy, uh, Derek Rubido. Rubido with the ball. Gives it to Reyes. Being guarded by uh, Ronnie Stepp as he drives in. Kicks out to Rubido. Wide open again on the right side for another two points. Giving us the third lead change of the game already for the Southback Bobcats. 4-3. Great, great penetrating dish right there by Jimmy Reyes. Yes. Derek Rubido cut to the basket and boom time. It's 4-3. Yep, and it appears Corey Joseph with the ball. Guarded by Nick Bowden. Guard on guard matchup. Uh, feeds, uh, Charlie feeds uh, Chaz Hunt in the back. It's to be a foul on... No, they're going to call a jump ball. Yep. I think the Bobcats might have gotten away with one there because yep. it looked like they might have gotten raked in the post on that one. Yeah, looks like Reyes kind of swiped in, but eh, it's just early game, trying to get everything feel out over the game. That was Mission Viejo's Chad Hutchinson going to the hoop strong there, but got double teamed by two Bobcats and off his leg. Jump ball, they called it. And Saddleback possession. And Jimmy Reyes with the ball to, on the left elbow. Gives it out to, gets a good screen from Joel Jones. Kicks it out to Rubido, top of the key. Rubido gives it to Tiba Taylor, guarded by Javon Jones. Very similar hair, haircuts. Yeah, they're going to get Javon Jones on the block out top. First foul of the game. First foul. Yep. 4 3. So about, I mean, four, yeah, 4 3. So about college. 3 to the Bulletin College Hornets. All right. Here we go. Rubido with the ball. Jimmy Reyes. Really good field three. Tries to drive easily on Ronnie Stepp. And he gets it. Yeah. I think the size mismatch on offense for Jimmy Reyes is getting exploited by uh, Ronnie Stepp, who's not really the best defender. It's the quickness right now that's showing up for Saddleback. And the yep. size for Fullerton does not yet matter. But yep. we will see. Yep. 6 3. Saddleback College. Here we go. They're feeding uh, Tristan Tom Williams in the post. Good post score on Jimmy Reyes. Looks like about a about like 10 inch uh, height advantage. 
Jimmy Reyes picks up his first on the post move inside by Tristan Williams, another yeah. Mission BAL player. He's got a foul in that case. There you go, Corey Jones with the ball. Right by Nick Bowden. Bowden kicks out to Javon Jones. Javon Jones with the ball. Top of the key. Gets a good pick from Tristan Williams. Got the mismatch by Jimmy Reyes yet again. There you go, Chaz Hutchinson with the ball in the post by Gerald Jones. Two big guys going at it, and it's good uh, for Chaz Jones. That makes it a 6-5 game. It's about college five, six, and then the Fulton Hornets five. With, bon there you go, with uh, Nick Bowden bringing the ball to court, getting guarded to full court by Corey Joseph. He's that to Gerald Jones, the third on the left elbow. Keep it in the right corner. Get matched up by Javon Jones. Drives in for the basket. Wants all contact. Up, mission misses. Good defense. Rebound, Chad Stephenson. Kicks it out to Corey Joseph. Brings up the court on the left side. Getting guarded by Tiba Tiller full court. Gets a good pick by Chad Stephenson. Gerald Jones, top of the key. It's like turning a mismatch. Get up to Ronnie Stapp on the right elbow, top. Uh, gets a good strip by Tristan Williams. Ronnie Stapp with the ball, getting by uh, Dirk Rubido, one of the toughest defenders on the side back College Bobcats. And there's a foul on the play. I think they're going to get Gerald Jones on a hold underneath the basket. Yep, free hold. You know, you can really see the, the quickness advantage that Saddleback has right now, and nope. it's offsetting the height advantage that Fullerton has for the moment. But we're early. We'll see if the Hornets start pounding it into the post, but they seem content to fire from three. Javon Jones to the three, just short off the rim. Kicks it back up, rebound to John Jones, corner the same spot. It's good this time. I think the size is coming in handy. Good rebound and kick out by uh, R.J. Banks on that. Yeah, a, their first, uh, their second lead of the game for the Fulton uh, Hornets, 8-6, uh, back college six. There we go, with Jimmy uh, raises up the ball, kicks it to uh, Gerald Jones, gets some pick action, trying to get a mismatch, a lot of shuffling up. A lot of holding up top, a lot of the, the quickness of Saddleback is making Fullerton kind of reach a little bit on defense, and we'll see if Perry Webster, he's already brought in a couple of subs. He brought in their 6-6-6 six, six, six man, who is 6'6", Gavin Ramirez. He's averaging about 10 points a game, so he's in. Gives them some depth. They're trying to offset that loss of Kobe Newton. Mm -hmm. There we go. Joe Jones in the post on uh, RJ Johnson, two of the taller guys. Got rejected right there. Rebound for uh, Fullerton. Bring up the court for uh, Ronnie Stapp. Kicks it out to... Uh, uh, Ger uh, uh, yeah, Gerald, uh, Gavin uh, Ramirez. Kicks it out mm -hmm. They got RJ post. Johnson in the game now as well with yeah. Ramirez. Yeah, Ramirez in the post. I've oh, got a... Good, good foul. Nice job by Nick Bowden to take the charge. Gavin Ramirez lowered his shoulder, trying to use his height advantage over the much smaller Nick Bowden and just ran him over. Nick stood his ground, took the charge. Bobcats ball, 16-16 to go here in the first half, Tanner. Yep, it's uh, Bobcats 6, uh, Fords in College 8. As uh, Jimmy Reyes brings the ball up the court, center of the court, right on the logo. Done. And kicks it to Tiba Taylor on the right side. He kicks it to Sebastian Zerpta. Uh, pull up three for Jimmy Reyes on the left side. It's good. Three-pointer. That's another lead change. Bobcats nine. The, the Fulton Hornets eight as for just the court. Kicks it out to Gavin Ramirez. Ramirez gives the ball to Javin Reed. It's a big pick. That's to R.J. Johnson. R.J. hands it off to Corey Joseph again. A lot of hands off. A lot of ball movement. Kicks out to Ronnie Stepp. Top of the key for a three-pointer. Brings in the court. Drives in. Kicks out to Javon Reed on the left side. So it's going to try to post up. Uh, action for... Uh, uh, running step, but no, up, oh, good block. Entry by pass Reyes. broken yep. up nicely. Oh, uh, yep, well, hustle, a lot of rebound, good stealing. Good steal by Southback College as Nick Bowman to the court, gives the Jimmy Reyes, trying to exploit the mismatch. He's been scoring on Ronnie Stapp as recently, so he'll get back to it. And he does, kicks it out to Sebastian Zerpton, the wide open corner three. Ah, uh, just rims out, unfortunately, as Reyes gets the rebound, which is surprisingly for the shortest guy on the court to get the offensive rebound. As Rubio has the ball on the left elbow, kicks it out to Tiba Taylor, top of the key, drives in, tries to score on uh, Gavin Ramirez. Pass out to Dirk Rubido in the paint, gives the Sebastian Zerpton. Good ball movement all around by Southern. Back. Beautiful College interior that. passing, Tanner. Beautiful. They're, against all those tall trees, the smaller Bobcats are not going up on their foot. They're giving it a fake. They're making the bounce pass, and people are cutting to the basket when those six foot eight and six foot nine guys that Fullerton has a handful of are going up to try and block. So it's been a great job. It's ironic that Saddleback's eight of their 11 points are in the paint, yeah, most... while the huge Hornets six of their eight points are from behind the three-point line so it's kind of you wouldn't have expected that on paper it's but the like bobcats a are shuffle, yeah right attacking the hoop despite their massive size differential yeah you see like a lot of them are getting like good looks like wide open looks like they're cutting i think the size is slowing them down because like a lot of pick action and stuff yeah it's uh, the side back college leads 11 to 8. yes yeah, side back college 11. fullerton college hornets 8. as the as uh, gavin ramirez inbounds the ball to corey joseph not the corey joseph on the deep detroit pistons no corey joseph from uh... Tanner knows these things, folks. Yep. The pure yep. Hoopers only on 2 o'clock on Thursdays. Listen to a show on KSBR.org. 
Rich, I talk about all things basketball, the players you don't know exist and players that you think are good but are really aren't. Pure was only as they have the ball. As you learn something. Coach. Yep, John Jones the ball, gets that to Corey Joseph. It's a good pick from uh, Chaz Hutchinson, the driven basket. Oh, he he John Reed for three again, same spot, rims out, unfortunately. Re oh, no. Javon Jones looks like he's ready to try to make up the difference of the, the absence of Kobe Newton with the outside game, and he has shot a lot of three-pointers. He's not their best three-point shooter, though. Newton is, so they're going to have a loss there. There's Ramirez for three. Just off rebound. Oh, they tipped him back in to uh, Colin Reed. Colin Reed with the ball. Kiss to Corey Joseph. Just back to Javon Reed. Like, it's the same spot. The right the right uh, elbow is. She just yep. pulled from three there. That's a lot of threes are. As Corey Joseph with the left side. He's the Chaz. Chaz nice from the post. Yep. Kicks nice it pass. back to John Reed. Get ball movement. Kicks it to Colin Reed on that. Reed missed. Oh, I bit on the jump of that for a... Uh, uh, Gavin Ramirez just off. I think they're going to get Gerald Jones for a second foul, and I don't know if I agree with that. Gavin Ramirez went there. Yep, they're going to get Gerald Jones, and that's two, and that's not going to help losing the only guy that can match up size-wise. So he's got a second foul with 14, 15 to go here in the first half. Gerald Jones will go to the bench, and they'll bring in Eli Aldebrin, and it'll, the Bobcats will be going small. This will be the ultimate small ball versus tall ball matchup. This will be small, small, small. Gavin Ramirez is the 6'6". Six man uh, off the bench, right? Six, six, six don't, man. Don't, don't want to say six, 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 but that's and uh, he's number five, and he comes and he hits his first free throw there. But that's more size they bring in off the bench. And right now, looking at what they have on the court, they got six, seven Ronnie Staff, they got six, six Gavin Ramirez, they got six, nine Chaz Hutchinson, they got Ryan Bla uh, number three Ryan Blackman. So then a couple of guards, you know, yep. but they <laughs> they're guards, on the front line, guards, quotes. quote unquote, exactly. And the free throw is good from Gavin and Ramirez, yep. making the, the score Bobcats 11, uh, Hornets 10. Sabat College Bobcats and Fullerton College Hornets. As Jimmy Reyes brings the ball center of the court through the logo. Here's the ball. Uh, gets screened by Tuba Taylor, gets a double team mismatch, trying to exploit the mismatch on Ryan Stabby, then able to blow by him nonstop. Tuba Taylor with the ball, top of the key. Kicks out to Rubido, right side. Tuba Taylor trying to go for a three, pump fake, good pass to Rubido, top of the key. Look what he wants to do with it. Spin moving the paint. Good layup. Ah, just off. Rebound, Chas Hutchinson. Strong move to the hoop over the 6'9 Hutchinson by uh, Derek Rubido. It just couldn't get it to fall, yep. but he was aggressive. Yep. Ryan Step with the ball dribbles, lost control of the dribble early. There was no real defense. I guess he doesn't know his handles that well. As uh, Colin Reed with the ball top of the key, kisses it to uh, Gavin Ramirez. Gives it to Colin Reed for three, top of the key. Oh, a little too far on that one. It's top of the rim, rebound, Fullerton College. Yeah, well, you know us big guys, sometimes that just happens, Tanner, where we just got to dribble it off our foot. Yeah, know. it's not give, our fault. Give poor Ronnie a break there. Yep. <laughs> Reed from McCon Reed, just off, rebound uh, Elijah Al Debron, bringing it to the court, Debron with the ball. Dribble on uh, Conrad, pull up mid-range, top, top of the free throw line, just off, rebound, Charles Irving, Hutchinson, not Charles Irving, Charles Pretty Hutchinson. Pretty shot by Eli, just couldn't get the soft roll. Right it was play, wrong result. Beautiful jump stop and pull up against the bigger guys, which right is step. what you have to do. Here we go. Ryan Blackman, top of the, uh, left side of the key, kicks it to Colin Reed. Colin Reed visit the... Uh, yeah, they're gonna get Sebastian holding uh, Chaz Hutchinson down there on the block, and he was doing what he could, but uh, Hutchinson got position, the entry pass came in, and Sebastian just kind of grabbed him around the waist. Non-shooting foul, though, so ball out of bounds. Yeah, a lot hurling early, because they have this, because Fulton does have the side mismatch in the post, so they try to make sure that they're trying to hold on a little bit so they don't have exactly a uh, good open look at the basket. As they get inbound past uh, to Ronnie Stapp, good for three on that, making the score. Hornets with their lead back again. The Fulton Hornets 13, South that College, Bobcats 11. As uh, Elijah Debron with the ball, left side, top left side line. Keeps it to uh, Sebastian Zerpter, right side near the middle of the key. Keeps it to Charles Irving in the post. Ron, Ron Stuckey, she's been the mismatch. Layup, ah, just from Zhao. Charles Irving with the rebound, gives it to uh, Ronnie Stapp. He dribbles up the court and see if he like, improves his handle lately. Hands it back off to R Ryan Blackman. Yeah, the biggest player for the Bobcats right now is Derek Rubido at 6'3". And he plays more than 6'3". Leading the rebound, leading rebounder sell back as a three-pointer from Gavin Ramirez is just off. Rebounds. Uh, Southback calls. You had three guys getting the rebound on that. Nice hustle by Charles yep. Irving to save yep. it. Rebound. Uh, Nick Bumby's score. He's out to Derek Rubido, top of the key to Charles, I mean, Elijah Al Debron, the right side. Debron keeps out to Rubdo, kicks to Sebastian Zerpto. Zerpto with the ball, still running around doing circles to uh, Lajel Debron. Debron with the ball, trying to size up on Colin Reed. Trying to figure out to do right, right, left. 
Oh, she picks up the ball through the right. dribble. Kicks out to Bowen for three. Oh, a little too far on that one. I think Bowen is one of the best shooters in the, in the conference. Just a little too far on that one. Fullerton playing good extended man-to-man -man defense, knowing the Saddleback does like and can make and does make the three. And that one was a good solid 26 feet for Nick, but he almost hit it, but no go. Yep, Fullerton with the ball, kisses it to uh, Ryan Blockman for three on the corner, just off, rebound, Saddleback College. Good rebound by Derek Rubido, of course. It's turning into a three-point contest, and I don't think that's what Perry Webster wants with Fullerton with that size advantage, but they're settling for stuff from 22 feet. I think Saddleback would be happy with that all day. Yep, as Charles Ring with the ball, dribbles up. Ah, oh, loose control of the ball. Gets his, gets his ball back. Dribbling on uh, Ron, uh, Ronnie Stapp. He's pretty to be the, miss, the big weak point for uh, Fullerton. Now that time, missed by uh, Charles Ring. Rebound, Derek Rubido. He's always there for offense and defense. Always on the boards, no matter how tall he is. Bowen kicks it out to Charles Ring for three. Air ball, unfortunately. Rubido with the rebound, put back. Tie game at 13. Sabat College Bobcats 13. Uh, Fulton uh, College Hornets 13 Jared as well. Rubido with six points all in the paint against the tall trees of Fullerton. Great well, hustle guy. He knows everywhere to be on offense and defense. High basketball cue as uh, Ronnie Stepp has the ball. Drives in on Charles Irving. Goes for a layup. It's good. Pretty move there. Fulton has the lead back again. It's uh, Fulton 15. The Set back college 13 as uh, McBoom dribbles the ball up the court. Perry Webster definitely wanted the foul there, and he could have gotten one because Perry Webster did look like her. Yep. Yeah, uh, built the ball. He's not too uh, Ronnie Stapp looked like he got ball. hacked as he went in, but no call. Yeah. So he's in the player's play. As we built the ball, hands back out to Bowen. One three on that one. Drives in, kicks out to Sebastian Zerpta for three. Ah, too far on that one again. The rebound, Fullerton. All right, here's Colin Reed with the ball, dribbling up the court. I mean, not wrong, not bad. Ryan Block, uh, Blockman on that, dribbling up the court. Bobcats only one out of six from three so far. So they would probably focus more on inside or mid-range jump shots. As Colin Reed dribbles the court, gives out to Ronnie Stapp. Ronnie Stapp gets a pick from Chaz Hutchinson. Drives in, wants to go for that lip again. Kicks out to uh, Colin Reed for three. Kicks the ball, kicks a lot of ball movement for Fullerton. He gives that for a three for... Uh, uh, Ronnie Stapp, a little too, uh, just brims off on that one as Nick Bowen dribbles the ball up the court on the right side, kicks it to Rubido, who's in the middle. middle Fullerton, Fullerton three for 12 now from behind the three point line. Who would have thought they would have taken twice as many as Saddleback at this point? I know, and only 10 minutes in the game, they're already taking that many threes as Nick Bowen has the ball. Score a Saddleback College 13, Fullerton 15. Pull up three for Bowden. Ah, just rims out yet again. Right, when Nick goes. is feeling it, that one is a good shot. I'm not sure that was a good shot in that situation. Yeah, still some time when the shot clock could have run into the play. There you know. Right, here we go with uh, Ryan Block with the ball. Getting girded by uh, Lajel Deborah on that. Drives in for a layup. Ah, oh, free bound for uh, Southback College with uh, Rubido. He's, every, he's, he's the best rebounder at 6'3 I've ever seen. Fullerton with only three shot attempts in the paint so far. Yeah, you you assume like the size of them would run a lot of in, inside post type play, but nope, just threes mostly. Charles Ring with the ball, left side of the court, kicks it out to Rubido for three on the right side. Ah, just off again. Southback has not seemed to get him from three yet. They're a bit cold to start the game. There you go as a uh, Ronnie Stapp dribbles up the court, center court, trying to get a play for Char uh, Chaz Hutchinson on that. Yep, got Chelsea in the play, trying to play, pick action. Oh, but he throws it up bounds, unfortunately. He was looking for uh, Gavin Ramirez on the cut, but a too much muscle on that one. Got subs in the game. Tanner, uh, Atiba Taylor, and Jimmy Reyes back in for the Bobcats, replacing uh, Irving and uh, Eli Aldebrin. Yep. So uh, uh, without Gerald Jones still, so again, the undersized Bobcats are really trying to make something Yep. work with their quickness and it's been successful with cuts yep. to the basket let's see if they can continue yep eight minutes left in the game bobcats uh sub college 13 and the uh, fulton horse leading 15. through with the ball drawing up the play should have fake cut to uh, nick bowden didn't work they're getting team two on the cut I'm trying to get the mismatch on ronnie stapp appears to be the wink link on defense they keep attacking him over and over again since we're new team until drives in kicks out to be raised in the paint Ah, uh, underside. I mean, Sebastian's ripped to my bad. Rebound. Yep, Rubido as always. Always over there on defense, on offense, getting rebounds and on defense rebounds. As you raise with the ball. Good defense. But it kicks out for Rubido again. There's it's the good. Cut to Tight Derek game. Rubido. Eight points in the paint. Beautiful cut. Yep. And you know what that was set up by, Tanner? That was uh, Jimmy Reyes. Atiba Taylor's unselfishness yep. originally Taylor. to not force a shot at the elbow. Yeah. And that's what set up those passes inside that led to that layup. And Log Jimmy Reyes with a great look. Absolutely. All right, three-pointer from uh, Colin Reed, just off, rebound side back college. They're going to get the Bobcats on the hold underneath. They're going to get uh, Zerpa, I believe. 
That's two on Sebastian. Well, fouls really for Sabat College. Right. They have depth at that, you know, swing guard position. So two fouls on Sebastian Zerpa doesn't hurt nearly as much as the Gerald Jones the third two fouls. Yeah. Right. Inbound for give it to Robbie. Robbie stop for the layup. It's good. 17-15, uh, Fullerton College. Nice inbounds play. And yep. Ronnie Staff is a scorer. Make no doubt about that. He's one of those long, gangly guys who can get shoot it from anywhere on the floor and get to the rim as well. Yep, give each other with the ball for next on Ronnie Stop. Pull up three. It's good on the right side. of Tiba tells a swish from three. Perfect shot. Makes it gives us out back college lead again. 18-17. Saw back college, Fullerton 17. You know what? And that's Atiba's first shot of the game right oh, wow. there. Yeah, so that's how unselfish in. he's been. He's yep. really been. Knows when to take over. Yep. All right. Big pass Tristan Williams, good deflection by Nick Bowden. Three has been court, gives it to Atiba Taylor for another shot. Same spot as before. Ah, a little too far on the right side on that. As uh, Corey Joseph, the rebound, brings up the court. Kicks it out to uh, right. uh, Colin Reed. Rebound. Oh. They're going to get uh, Sebastian Zerba if that's the call. I'm thinking they're going to get, which would be three, which then would be a problem because yep. you're going to have to pull him here. Yep. Yep. That is three on Sebastian Zerpa. That's the sixth team foul on the Bobcats, but it's two shots coming up for Fullerton at the 618 mark here in the first half. Yep, 18-17 so far. So about college with 18, and the Fullerton, the Fullerton College Hornets with 17. First free throw from Colin Reed's just off. So they'll be looking to tie on this free throw. Ball yeah. don't lie. No, well, you know, he got whacked across the head. It's just one of those things where it's an aggressive play, mm -hmm. and... They had to, you know, the official was right there, so he kind of had to call it, but is on the playground, maybe and, not. And affected him on that. He's missed both free throws. Ronnie Stapp tied up Eric Rubido there, and that's going to be possession error to Fullerton. Yep. And, uh, you know, good, strong play by Ronnie Stapp. Yeah, using their size well. Yeah, it was nothing uh, Derek Rubido could do. He just turned, and there was Stapp to grab for the ball, and he ended up getting the jump ball. And with the possession arrow, Fullerton's got the ball and a chance to take the lead back, trailing by one here in the first half. Yep. As Corey Joseph bounced the ball, took another good inbound play, throw a lob to uh, Javon Jones on that. Good turnover, good steal by Jimmy Reyes and Tiba Tiller on that. Tiba drives to the paint, looking for a foul. Got it. Yeah, he made a strong move to the rim. He knew he didn't have a kick pass, so he went for the shot. That's the thing about a Tiba Taylor is he picks his places to make, you know, those kind of strong moves to the basket where he may be one on two and you might be thinking, what is he doing? But he knew that he had the edge and he had the path to the rim. There wasn't an easy kick pass, which he will make all the time. This time he went to the rim and he's got two free throws. Yep, and Tiba Taylor is one of the best foul, uh, foul drawers in the game. He recently had about 11 last game against uh, uh, IVC and, that was, and all those were important because they won by nine, he made 11 of his points for three throws. And he's so, an 80 yeah. percenter. Yep, he made the first free throw, making the lead side back college 19, Fulton Hornets 17, second one is good. Makes it a three point game, side back uh, Bobcats first team to 20. Fullerton, 17. Corey Joseph in the ball, kicks it into uh, Ronnie Stapp. Pick up the ball, dribble, kicks it to uh, Corey Joseph again. Trying to dribble the basket. Good defense all around by side back college. Yep. That's Corey Joseph trying to figure out what to do. Let's try to feed uh, yeah, a good uh, double team. Yep. Joseph in the it. post, kicks oh. it to Ronnie Stapp for three. Uh, just off rebound, side back college. Yep. Uh, over and back. Yep, Chaz Hutchinson with his second foul. So yep. the Mission Diego High School product returning to the home turf, but he's got two early fouls here in the game. So he'll go to the bench with 547. Yep. Well, miss his size because uh, uh, Fullerton College has other guys around his height that will be able to pick up his uh Right. They role. bring in Ramirez at 6'6", who plays a solid 6'6", even though he's guarding people out on the perimeter. He's strong on the block, too. Yep. Bone with the ball. Top of the logo. Kicks to a team pillar right side on Javon Jones. Kicks it to Charles Irving. Top of the, top of the key. Kicks it to... Uh, Voted on that. Jimmy Reyes from Rusticky again. Drives to the basket. Tries to go for a lay. Oh, stops. Kicks out to Rubido. Rubido on the left side, key, left side uh, corner. Kicks it to uh, Bowden, left side corner as well as he drives to the basket. Pulls up floater. It's good from Bowden, making the South back Bobcats lead 22. Fullerton College Hornets 17. As Corey Joseph brings the ball, Durant, Robbie Stapp gives it to nice pass. Tristan Williams. Good pass. So Tristan Williams to the paint. It's good, making the lead back to three. Fullerton 19. South back College 22. As uh, Jimmy Reyes pulls up for three, it's good. Six-point game on the right side. Good good shot by Jimmy Reyes on that, making a six-point game. Side back college 25. His Fullerton range is inside the building. Yep. Be the logo, no less. All right, there we go. They feed uh, uh, Gavin Newsom in the paint. Just off. Rebound Gavin again. It's good. Using his size well on that one. 
Jeff Oliver is going to call a timeout. Yep, timeout, Saddleback. Yep, score is Saddleback College Bobcats 25 with the Fullerton College Hornets 21 with the 440 left in the game. Here in the first half, Tanner, what I've been uh, interested in seeing what's been uh, effective for Saddleback is the way that they are driving into the paint and then making the quick, short bounce paths to another cutter towards the rim. Mm -hmm. They're not relying on fading away and getting out behind the three-point line consistently like they have in a lot of games because they shoot it so well. Mm -hmm. So they are actually attacking the bigger Fullerton and post players, taking the ball inside, but then making that extra pass, and they've gotten... 14 points in the paint inside of five feet, which is just exactly what I would not have expected for Saddleback to do, given their, you know, Elite prolific three-point shooting in the last month. It's a smart and team. They're playing smart. Jeff Oliver's got a good game plan here. And Fullerton, you know, they're playing straight man-to-man, -man, but they're out-quicked a little bit. And then when the help man can't get back in time, Saddleback's putting the cutter to the basket, and they're finding him, and that's led to those uh, 14 points in a point. Ruda, yeah, Ruda drew his ball on the left side, kicks it to Bowden on the left side near the logo. Bowden with the ball, does what do. So trying to score on Corey Joseph. Not Jimmy Reyes for three. Oh, he saw it for a second, and then Jones on quick defense. Jimmy Reyes kicks Nuts it out to Charles Irving, the best athlete again. on Beautiful. the court for easy two points in the paint yet again for Saddleback. 27, Saddleback College Bobcats. 21, Fulton Orange says. Corey Joseph brings the ball up the court on the right side. Good screen by Gavin Ramirez. Kicks it out to Javon Jones. The mismatch gives it to Tristan Williams. Back to Javon Jones. For three, same side as he always shoots. It's good again. We get a three-point game. Southback College 27, Hornets of Fullerton 24. Tima Taylor dribbles about the court, guarded by Robbie Stop Gives it to uh, Rubido. Rubido is Charles Irving, best athlete. Just scored earlier. He's going to drive to the basket again for the two. Ah, uh, just rims out. He almost had it. It went around, circled a bit, pull up bold, but no good. Charles got away with the travel there, but that, you know, ball don't lie, as Tanner says. Lie. Fullerton came away with the rebound. Yep. All right, there we go. Reading the Tristan Thompson in the post. Took, tried to do another quick another outlet pass for an easy layup. Loose ball, hustle play. Oh, wants it up. It's all like, scramble now. Yep. Here we go. Here we go with, uh, with Ronnie Stapp dribbling up top of the key. Yeah, trying to dribble, get a good screen by Tristan Williams. Lost switching by Southback College, knowing when to switch and when not to switch. Here he goes with uh, Gavin Ramirez in the post, trying to score on uh, Drew Riss. And a nice charge. job there by Jimmy Reyes to take the charge against the six foot six Gavin Ramirez. He, he maybe yeah. set his feet and Ramirez tried to force it, go into the block and offensive foul. Yeah, Jimmy Reyes, he may be the most the shortest player on the, on the court, but he's also the smartest. He knows when he's in the paint that they can't really do much because once his feet is set, their basic their height is meaningless to him. That's two fouls on Gavin Ramirez, so he and Hutchinson for Fullerton, two of their big post players, and Ramirez is a point yep, forward kind of guy. He can play all over the court. They're both out with two fouls here with three minutes to go in the first half. Yep, there you go, Trezor with the ball, left side for uh, Jimmy Reyes. Reyes to Derek Rubido, top of the key. Top of the key gives it to Tabor, now on top of the key. Pull up three for Tiba. It's good! Making it a six-point game for the Saddleback Bobcats. Yep, Bobcats 30. Uh, Fullerton Hornets 24. It looked like Fullerton backed off half a step on defense to try and take away the drive to the lane and kick, and Atiba Taylor made them he's, pay. He's a professional bucket getter. He can score from anywhere, no matter what. And he to the ball, top of the key, kicks it to uh, Ron Ronnie Stafford, three, off again. Here you go, rebound, Charles Irving, kicks it to Nick Bowden. Dribbling on the right side, Corey Joseph playing a half court defense on him, good half court press. Gives it to Charles Irving, the best out in school, to Atiba Taylor. Try to feed the hot hand, I see. As he dribbles, oh, so many good moves. Kicks it out to Charles Irving for three. Step one. out of bounds. Yeah, yeah the, the desire to shoot the three sometimes gets you drifting into an area where you don't realize you've gone that far behind the line, and the next thing you know, you're out of bounds. I'll learn that the hard way as a Blazers fan when CJ McCollum stepped out of bounds in the double overtime thriller against the Nuggets and just ruined my hopes and dreams that year. Well, that's what you get for being a Blazers fan anyway, oh, but uh, we, we, won't, we won't get into that here. That's Corey so. Joseph who's up off the courts. <laughs> All right, kicks out to uh, Ryan, Ryan Blackman to Javon Jones, sends it to three. He dressed the basket on Jimmy Reyes on the smart defender. It's a uh, foul. Late whistle, but I think the correct call, they're going to get Jimmy on the body as Javon Jones, who's six foot four, and mm -hmm. made all effective use of that, taking the smaller Jimmy Reyes at 5'10", 5'11", maybe, you know, to the rim. That's the seventh team foul on the Bobcats, the second on Jimmy Reyes. A little bit of foul trouble on both sides with the two foul situations, Gerald Jones, Derek Rubido. 
or Sebastian Zerpa, excuse me, Jimmy Reyes, Javon Jones made the first there. Yep, making the 25-30 Southback College lead. Now it's a four-point game, Southback College 30, Fullerton F College Hornets 26, as the Tiba Taylor dribbles the ball up on the right side. He man up against uh, Jones on that, Javon Jones, as uh, he's at the bone top of the key, because it's uh, Charles Irving on the left side, Tiba Taylor, three up key. That's uh, John Jones as he drives left, spin move, let's control the ball. That's good Turn defense over. there by the Javon yep. Jones. Moved his feet well. Everything. Moved his feet well and didn't fall for uh, Tiba's uh, spin back, which is yep. usually very, very Center effective. Center move. Corey adjusts the ball, good screen by Ch uh, Chaz Hutchinson. Straight cut to the basket, drive for the layup. It's nice good, two point there. game. All right, Corey yep. Joseph filling in for the uh, not playing, Kobe Newton, we don't know why, but Kobe's yep. not on the floor for the Fullerton. M MIA, Kobe. And Kobe Joseph came in and just made a nice drive to right. the hoop. Two-point game, uh, Bobcats 30, Fullerton 28. Good, and bring back a four-point game for the Sabat College with a good uh, top of the key pull up on the right side for uh, Nick Bowden, making it a 32-28 uh, Sabat College lead. Where Joseph feeds uh, Chaz Hutchinson the post, kicks it out to Tristan Williams. There we go, Corey Joseph on the left, uh, left side, going to bounce. As uh, Ryan Blackman dribbles to dress the basket, just off, rebounds that back college. As uh, Charles Irving dribbles up the court with about 43 seconds left on the left side. And a play rate dribbles up, pull up three. It's oh, good. Great Eli shot. Debrin. Making it a seven point game. Great three on the left side by uh, uh, Elijah Debron. 35 yep. 28, Bobcats lead. Nice shot, Eli. You know, that was an. Uh, the, the Fullerton has backed off a step on defense, it looks like, in the last five minutes. Just into the paint presence. Driving, and now Fullerton is paying because Saddleback has hit three three pointers in the last couple of minutes. Yep. Looks like they're probably dribble out the shot clock this possession with Corey Joseph. Kicks it out to Javon Jones. Drive for three. Kick out to Corey Joseph for three. Air ball, rebound. Tristan Thompson at the buzzer. You got to box out on that. Make it a 30. There we go. Full court key from Elijah Debron. Ah, air ball. Yep, bringing it to the halftime score of uh, Sabah College leading 35 to Fortin College Hornets 30. We'll be back in a few. This is Tanner Aparicio and Mark Spin on Sabah College uh, CTVR YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And of course, tuning in on the CSBR HD, KSBR.org for our radio listeners out there. We'll be back with the second half and some stats before we get going in about 10 minutes, folks.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. With the uh, score at halftime, Sabat College Bobcats 35 and the Fullerton College Hornets 30. Marksman, you believe you got the inside scoop on the stats on both teams. So what, what are both teams looking like thus far at the half? Well, it's uh, first things first. The reason uh, Kobe uh, Newton isn't playing for the Hornets is he sprained his ankle against Riverside Tuesday night. And so I had a quick talk with Perry Webster at halftime, and he was kind enough to let me know that was the reason Kobe's not there. So hopefully he'll get you know, healed up and back in the lineup for Fullerton in the near future, but not playing tonight because of the ankle, their leading scorer. So they're going to have to find ways to find other people to put the ball in the hoop. Uh, in the first half, Saddleback was led by uh, Derek Rubido with eight points, and they were all in the paint. You know, the 6-2, the 6-3 six six just plays everywhere all over the court, went in there and got a bunch of layups on great passes because of the ball movement by Saddleback. So he led the way with eight points. Atiba Taylor had six. Uh, Nick Bowden had four. And uh, Elijah Debron had three. Jimmy Reyes uh, with uh, eight eight as well so eight for reyes eight for rubido we're counting these up we just got the stat sheets from downstairs folks so yeah. bear with us i got the inside scoop on this as a journalism degree really came in handy on that's this point. right got to go out there and do the reporting tanner so yeah it, uh, just a sprained ankle for kobe newsom but hopefully he'll be back uh kobe newton excuse me uh, for the rest of their games uh, saddleback has done a great job on the glass as well uh sebastian uh, derek rubido with eight rebounds in the first half four offensive and four defensive leads all players with eight total rebounds yep. as he's just there there he just wipes the glass for him he's amazing in there uh for fullerton they had a, bot, a lot of shots from uh, ronnie stapp and he ended up with uh 10 points to lead the way for the hornets ronnie stapp with 10 making up a little bit for the loss of uh, kobe and then tristan williams at four points Javon Jones had six on three-pointers, two for four from the three-point line. We have a well-balanced attack from Fullerton on this. When they realize their best player isn't out, they focus more on a team ball. Get the open man, find the open shooter. doesn't matter who you are. You're going to get the ball because you have the best look available for the team. Right. They're a balanced team. I mean, it's not like Kobe Newton was scoring 38 and everybody else was averaging four. Mm -hmm. But he was averaging 13 and a half, and he was their leading scorer and is their leading scorer. And he went out with a, an ankle injury against Riverside on Tuesday night. That's why he's not in the lineup tonight. But other players are stepping up. Ronnie Stapp is a scoring player. He's averaging about 13 points a game for him as well, and he's got 10 in the first half. So he's helping make up the gap. Uh, the surprising thing is the points in the paint that uh, uh, Saddleback, I'm counting them up as we speak, folks. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Saddleback is an 18 to 14 advantage of points in the paint against the much taller Fullerton Hornets. I did not expect that. I don't yep. think anyone really would have expected that. Especially with Gerald that. Jones being out. Right. Must Jones be out with two fouls. He's back in to start the second half, which we are ready to start right now, Tanner yep. Aparicio. Yep. Saddleback starts the ball with uh, Nick Bowden inbound to Jimmy Reyes. The score, of course, is still 35 30 by Southback College as Jimmy Reyes with the ball on the right side. Reared off the court, getting guarded by Javon Jones as they kick it out to Nick Bone again on the left side. Uh, Gerald Jones third back in, top of the key, trying to do a handoff play with Rubido. Rubido fakes the handoff, gives it back to Nick uh, Bowden, best shooter on the team, trying to figure out what to do. Uh, gives it to Atiba Taylor, the ball top of the key, dribble, he's dribbling the ball, trying to split for a pull-up three on top of the key, won the foul, just off. Ronnie Staff came out and got a hand up. Atiba and Jeff Oliver both thought that uh, he got more of a Tiba than he did of the air, but there was no call. Jeff Oliver not happy with that. Very passionate coach. Fullerton ball still trailing by five. Corey Joseph bringing up the court. Looks our middle to the right side. Just handed off to Chaz Hutchinson. Punches him with the ball because Javon Jones fakes it. Tries to drive the basket. Double, there's a your double team. Kicks it out to Corey Joseph to uh, uh, Ronnie uh, Staff for three. Great. Just off. Rebounds that back college. Jimmy Reyes. To the ball jumped the court on the right side. But guarded by Javon Jones, kicks it out to uh, uh, Rubido, top of the key, gets Bowen a little separation, Bowen with the ball, back to Gerald Jones, big man still back in the game, trying to get his shot in, give it to uh, Rubido, right side, top, uh, back to Tim Taylor, top of the key, Gerald Jones, big man matchup, we've been waiting for this, ladies and gentlemen, here we go for the layup, it's good for Gerald Jones the third, giving the side back Bobcats a seven point lead to start the game, first point nice, to the half. Nice, strong post move, 6'10 against 6'9. Vintage basketball. That was basketball, he made it work. 
was not intimidated by having someone of his own size with a hand in his face. Yep, first points of the game for him, I assume. Yes, thank you. Yep, now we're going to give back to Chaz Hutchinson. Big man battle in. He gets his buckets. Yeah, it's an old-fashioned Goliath with the Goliath matchup. You know, the Wilt Russell, the Wilt Russell duels, Ewing, uh, Elijah Wan, that kind of stuff. Kareem and Bill Walton. When Kareem Blazers was, legend Bill Walton. Yeah. All right, there we go. Uh, well. Uh -huh. All right. They're going to get Fullerton on a hold up top. All right, score is uh, Sabat College 37, the Fullerton Hornets 32, five-point game still. Javon Jones picks up the foul. That's his second. So they've got a bunch of guys with two. No serious issues just yet. All, Same with Sabat. All around. <laughs> yep, keep each other with the ball top of the key. Drives left. Oh, sure lost control of the ball a little bit. Kicks it out to up. Oh, Bowden a little overthrown on that one. Nice D by Ronnie Schaap yep, there. There you go. Corey Joseph bringing the ball to the court. Drives in for an easy layup. Kicks out to Javon Jones for three in the corner. It's good. Pretty. It's nice back. kick. Yep, two-point game for uh, the Hornets making it. Bobcats 37 with the uh, Fulton Hornets 35. As uh, Reyes brings the ball to the court. Gives Nick Bowden on the little rest side. As he dribbles to the center court. They're afraid to do on a uh, full court press by uh, Corey Joseph. Here's a steal. Kicks out to Atiba Taylor. The court top of the key. Jimmy Reyes on the right side. Javon Jones trying to feed uh, Drill Jones the post. Made the first shot earlier for him. He drifts to the basket. Kicks out to Rubido on the right side. Now he's top of the key. Trying to figure out what to do with the ball. Loses control a little bit. Drives to the basket. Rubido for the layup. Blocked nice by, block by Charles, uh, Chaz, Chaz Hutchinson. Hutchinson yeah. Yeah, it's tall, second tall is going on the court. Tall is for uh, Fullerton. As a uh, court just drills to the court. Switched uh, Rubido on that. Trying to figure out what to do. Gives it to uh, Tristan Thompson. Feeds it to Nice Thompson. entry pass. Uh, entry pass. Yeah, good trust. Uh, Chaz for two. Making it a tie game again. The uh, back Bobcats 37. 7 4 10 37 tied up at 37. Good post position, great entry pass, easy layup for the big man. Yeah, we're going to see uh, Gerald Jones have someone match his size. As uh, Jimmy Richard was up the court, good mismatch, good uh, handles. Because up for a uh, right side three, wide open. Oh, a little too far on that one. Rebound, uh, 4 10, out of bounds. Just rolled off. Derek Rubido right there in the mix to knock that off one of the Hornets out there near the hash mark. So the Smart Bobcats player. retain the ball with a 37 37 game. Yep. As then Nick Bowden dribbles, uh, rebounds the ball. Well, there you go, Tiba Taylor with the ball. Dribbles up, top of the key, trying to the do. Bounces back to Rubido, hand off to Tiba, driving left. Uh, uh, a little space. Yeah. Uh, Atiba push off. pushed off with the left hand. And that was a little bit of a frustration move there from Atiba. He thought he was bumped a lot, so yeah. he says, I can do that too, right? And the ref, unfortunately, did not agree. The nope. first foul on Atiba. There, there we go, Sport just dribbles up the court. On the right side, getting guarded by Nick Bowden. We get a switch to Tristan Williams. Up, oh, there we go. Oh, drive, nice pass by Tristan Williams. It was just a little far. Tiba Taylor with the steal. Great thought, Bowden. better defense. Yep, Tiba Taylor can do it all basically. As uh, Jimmy Reyes dribbles up behind the back, good layup, driving left, up the left, got the foul and, and one. one. The little man does it again. Reminds me a lot of uh, Isaiah, Tom a little 5'9 Boston Isaiah Thomas. He can you drive know, to the basket. Down there in the paint, he went behind the back. He caught, caught hard right, caught left. Yep, is that Jimmy Reyes some free throws? Uh, Reese, uh, first free throws of the ha half for uh, Southback College. I'm back after some technical difficulties. All clear, Mark? All clear, well. First free throw good for Southback Bobcats, making it a 38. Oh, uh, my bad, Adam one. just one free throw. So it's uh, Southback College 40, uh, Fullerton Hornets 30, 37. I broke up a 7-2 run by Fullerton to start the half, so yep. now the Bobcats back out to the lead. Yep, there he goes. Chess Anderson drills it up on top of the key. Fits that to uh, Stapp. He gives it to Tristan Watt Thompson. She's to Javon Jones. Trying to figure out what to do with it. Kicks out to Corey Joseph on the right side uh, corner. Tries to figure out what to do. She's to Javon Jones for three. Uh, just bounces in and out off the off the backboard. Rebound to Tiba Taylor. As one result, gives out to Rubido. Drives in the paint. Oh, good sidestep for an easy layup on that for Rubido. Making it a five-point game again for the Southback Bobcats. Very quick transition. And Derek Rubido gets his way to the glass for a basket that time after eight rebounds in the first half. Yep. And eight Very points. Good He's defense. So back just continued to inspire out there for Saddleback. Yep. There we go. Good defense by Alonso. Javon Jones for three. It's good again. Swished off the banana on that one, making it a two point game for the Fullerton. Making, yeah, Fullerton 40. Saddleback College 42. Two which was up left side. It's off the key for Atiba Taylor, trying to get some action with what he needs to do. Get a, give it up to Gerald Jones, left side, pull up jumper. Ah, uh, just short. It's the top of the rim on that one. It's a good it's shot up. for him. He's got that range and it was great rotation. It was wide open. It just didn't fall. Yeah. Javon Jones with two three-pointers here to start the second half. Right. Corey Joseph with the ball dribbling off the left side. A lot of pick action trying to switch. Get some communication for Southback College. 
the top of the key, trying to get a play ready. Kicks it out to Tristan Williams. Williams with the ball. Kicks it out to Hutchinson. Good big man battle in the post. There we go. Double from Atiba. Yep. Trying to the dude, trying to kick it out. Good steal by uh, Nick Bone on that. Smart, smart, really smart player. Good she ball vision right to be able to yep. pick up that skip pass. Yep, great awareness. Uh, Rubidoff is out to Bowden. Bowden drives in for the layup. Ah, just off. One to foul on that one. That's for Justin Jones of court on a four on two, two on four. Uh, back. All right, it's Tristan Williams for the drive-in for a floater. Top of the key. It's good. Tie game again for the Fullerton and Settle back. Both teams, 42-42. Timeout with uh, 14 minutes and 37 seconds remaining in the second half. I think we got a uh, sideline warning on Fullerton. Yeah, the official just blew the whistle for a sideline warning. No timeout, so Saddleback will have the ball back in the tie game. 14-37. Here we go again. Perry Webster not happy about the sideline warning. And nor should he be. Yeah, they were on the court when he, uh, yeah. not when, when uh, Jones made the three on that one. He went to NC. Team with the ball top of the key. He's going to play against Gerald Jones, elbow right side. UCLA high do. post. Yep, the team is for a wide open three. Uh, just off a little bit, rimmed in and out a bit. Key rebound for Fullerton as George Jones dribbles up the court, trying to explode the numbers. Uh, Fullerton was uh, set away. Let's get out to uh, down. Snap on the for three on the court. No good. Race with the rebound. 5-9. But he plays like 6-9 on the, on the rebounds as he dribbles up the court on the front. Transition to a team with Taylor. Just a little slate on that one as he dribbles up. Drives in the paint. Tries to get in. Just off. Yeah, Tiba again had the drive to the hoop. He did a little bit of a floater, drifting. He's left-handed, threw it up, you know, with the left hand from the left side. But there was 6'8 and 6'9 lurking, and it threw off his shot a little bit. That was the first time on an interior shot that I think maybe there was a little bit of influence by the, the big yes, it was bodies for good, Fullerton. Good, good. And it wasn't an easy shot for Tiba. Yeah. He tried to create something there and did a good job of it. Shot just didn't fall. Jones with the court on the right side. Make a little pick action. All right, here we go, Javon Jones. All right, trying to get the big man in the post. Here we go, Chaz Hutchinson. Here we go, top of the key, kisses to a step on that. Drives nice in for a layup, it's good. Lead for Fullerton, 42, 40, 44, 42. Fullerton, 44, solid back, 42. Fullerton bench, cannot believe there was no foul call on that drive. Yeah. And if Barry Webster's not careful, he is going to get a technical. That's the special Zerpto, corner three, back to Reyes, get a pick. And there's Reyes cut the stress with the defense on that one. Ball off the shoe, unfortunately. Up as uh, Kevin Ramirez dribbles, dribbles it up. Up, pull three. Up, Corey just the ball. On the right, left side, drives the top of the key, penetrating. Oh, gather step. Up. And they're going to get Jimmy Reyes on the reach, and that's going to be three on Jimmy. Mm -hmm. He tried to strip on as the. Javon Jones was splitting the defenders. He tried to reach in and strip him and got a little bit too much arm. Jeff yeah. Oliver not happy with officiating now. So both coaches, yeah. and you know what that means? Mm -hmm. They're doing a good job, the yeah. officials, when both coaches are unhappy. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's even Steven. So they are, you know, they're calling a fair game. There's a lot of dribble penetration in this game, and there have been some instances where you can call something on a reach or whatever, but if there hasn't been an advantage, then don't blow your whistle couple of times down the court now there have been some advantages created by the defensor you know defender grabbing at the offensive player so the referees have called it it's just when they start calling it inconsistently for the entire game you wonder well why didn't you call it that way in the first half yeah now what's interesting here tanner is that fullerton has really kind of taken a page out of the saddleback playbook from the first half because fullerton is driving to the rim yeah. and now kicking they out really a little bit and they're getting to the rim for easier shots they've got eight points in the paint Right. Here in the first uh, second half, in the first you know seven minutes of the first half, with 13:06 to go, so they've uh, gotten inside, used their size, and they've taken a two-point lead after trailing by five at halftime. Mm -hmm. And we'll have to see if they're going to continue to drive, bring the Saddleback defenders down, kick, and then go to the cutters because they've been affected with those eight points in the paint. Because that's what Saddleback did to them in the first half. Yep. All right, Corey Joseph inbounds the ball for a Fullerton. Do. Timeout for Fullerton. Couldn't get the ball in bounds, so they're no. going to use their 30-second timeout. They want a five-second violation on that one. You know what's interesting also in this game, Tanner, is both teams are playing, you know, straight man. Yeah. And I expected that from Saddleback just because they were going to have to do something just to try to deny passing lanes to the big guys and so forth, and they couldn't really do that with the zone. Mm -hmm. Fullerton, with their bigger players, I thought might extend like a 2-3. Yeah, maybe some switching more. But, you know, the, I don't know their tendencies as well. Mm -hmm. And this was probably their plan all along. Yeah. Um, 
on a colder shooting night from three-point land, mm -hmm. I would not be surprised to see Fullerton drop into a zone at some point if they keep getting burned on cuts to the basket. Yeah. There's an inadvertent horn. Right. Inbound by a step on that on the left side. Corner, kicks to the court just top of the key, kicks out to Javon Jones on the right side. Top elbow, trying to switch. There we go. To uh, Gavin Ramirez, trying to mismatch. There's a sub, uh, Javon Jones. There we go. Corey Joseph left uh, corner. It's a good pick. Tries to drive into the basket for a layup. Up, oh, pull pretty, up. Pretty much. Uh, just short on that one. Hit the rim. Rebound for uh, Sal back from Elijah Debron. Elijah Debron, Debron goes yep. up high for that one. Yep. Great rebound. Yep, Rubido with the ball on the right side. Gives it to Jimmy Reyes, top of the key. Drives to the basket. Kicks it out to Sebastian Zerpta for three. It's good. Oh, Sebastian hits his first three of the game. Yep, making the score of South Back College lead by one, 45 44. As Corey Joseph from the on the right side. All right, there we go. Special on that. There's John Jones trying to feed the big man in the post, I see, because they have the easy size mismatch. There we go with the Gavin Ramirez on the free throw line. Drive and kick. Yep. Score Joseph, left corner for usual. He's ready to try to jump out. Someone gives it to uh, uh, just tap on that. Stop trying to get Javon Jones for a three. It's third good. of the half. Yep. Nine making, points for Javon Jones here in the second half. Three three yep. pointers. Yep, making the Hornets lead. Fullerton 47, uh, Bobcats 45. And again, a dribble kick, good ball movement by Fullerton to set yep. up the, the good hand. look for yep. Javon Jones. Ball, Jimmy Reyes on the left elbow, gets to Elijah Debron on the top of the key. Should be able to do, we pull up for three, drives left, pull up, kicks out to Rubido, the mid-range area, pull up in the, about the free throw line, just good. off, rebound Fullerton. Good look for Derek, just didn't drop. Yep. Fullerton kind of controlling the glass in the last couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. As well as our just drove the ball to court, we're going to mismatch on that. Just that to uh, Ramirez, uh, strong move that. to the hoop. Yep, for Ramirez. And they're going to get Rubido. Okay. First foul on Derek, no problems there. Yeah. Jimmy Reyes still in the game with the three fouls. But, yeah. you know, at this point with 11 minutes and change to go, why against not? the 10 and 1 team in the yeah, conference. Yeah, you need your best scores and you, still. You, you need the offense against Fullerton because you know they're going to be able to start yeah. scoring. Right, first free throw for uh, Gavin Ramirez of two. Is He's is got a nice three, steady form. form right there. That's pretty. This, yep, full lead right now. Fullerton 48, South Back College 45. Second free throw coming up. Gavin's a sophomore out of Corona, Corona High School. Oh, wow. And... He is, he's got the size, but he can play small. He can play down low. He gives them a lot of versatility off of the bench. Yeah. And without uh, Kobe Newton, you know, they need a little bit more punch offensively, and, and Gavin's done a good job with that. Yep, second free throw good, making the lead four points for uh, Fortune with 49, South Back College 45. As Elijah Aldebron dribbles up the court. And it drives right on the right elbow, kicks it out to Jimmy Reyes, top of the key three-pointer. Deep far range, you're up, off, oh, just off, rebound, Rubido. Kicks out to Charles Irving, Irving with the ball, back to the top of the key for Jimmy Reyes as he drives right, goes for the layup, gets rejected by uh, Colin Reed on that, good defense. Yeah, nice block, that was just, you know, you, you went in amongst the evergreens there and yep. there wasn't a lot you could do. Jimmy Reyes can find a way to get it between them, around them, and, you know, through them, but not over them sometimes, and yep. that's what happened there. Those are both ball, right side, kicks to Jimmy Reyes. Reyes trying to drive light. Yeah, they're going to get Gavin Ramirez on the hold out top. That's where the quickness factor, and that's why you keep a Jimmy Reyes in the game right now, because yeah. you need the quickness. Sports mismatches, yeah. Fullerton is slowly, slowly starting to assert their size advantage on the offensive end. Yeah, it's a little Reyes action. The quickness is going to have to be there for Saddleback. Zipper for three. Oh, rims in and out, but rebound Saddleback College again with the Charles Irving pull-up mid-range jump shot. Ah, uh, just like backside of the rim. Rebound Jimmy Reyes. A lot of good re lot of offensive rebounds this position for Saddleback College, keeping the play alive. Jimmy Reyes drives left, tries to go for the layup, backhand. Good. Make the old Euro step. Yep. Back yeah. in your day, you called that a travel, right? You know, I love it. Yes. 47 uh, Bobcats of Southback College and 49 Hornets of uh, Fullerton. Yeah, Here he goes, Javon Jones with the ball, top of the key. Gets skipped by Chaz Hutchinson to drive driving the mismatch. Good tip by... Nice uh, defense there Special by Zirta. Saddleback, yep. Here you go, Ledger up the court. Fast break opportunity. Gets Pretty. The, yep, Rubido, the paint tie game for the Southback Bobcats. Tie. 12 Time. points for Derek Rubido. All in the paint. Outstanding job cutting the hoop, getting himself open for easy layups. Saddleback yeah. doing a great job being yeah. unselfish on the three-on-two break. 
And boom, suddenly they're back tied. 49, 49. A little bit of a run by yeah. Fullerton there to kind of seemed like they might be starting to take a little bit more control of it, but Saddleback can come back in waves. We've seen it time and time again. We saw it last week, for example, it was a yeah. tie game. Right. Against OCC, you know, yeah. they went on a 22-0 run. In the game. After it was 46-46. Yeah. And, of course, you know, Jeff Oliver told them in that timeout in the last game that there's no reason that we should be tied 46-46 to with OCC. No disrespect to OCC, but, yeah, come on. Let's get this together. And that was a very PG way of Funny explaining end. what he told them. So, you know, Coach Oliver wants to see his team perform at a high level consistently. Tonight they are doing that. Yeah, against like the, the top team in the conference to tie game up 49 and 49, which is all around is great for Southback College. They're hanging in there still. They don't they don't they don't put their heads down, they don't accept defeat. No, they play out, they give it hundred and ten percent effort on every minute of every game, no matter what the score is. It could be 49 and 49, it could be hundred to forty nine. They'll still be playing at the same level. Uh, resetting it here real quick for you folks. 10 minutes, 11 seconds to go in the second half. It's a 49-49 game. I am Mark Spin along with Tanner Aparicio. That's more me. like Tanner Aparicio. I'm yeah. along with him. Yeah. And we are here for a big Orange Empire Conference game between the visiting Fullerton Hornets and the Saddleback Bobcats here yep. on the campus in Mission Viejo. Welcome. Ryan Blackman drills up the court on the right side. Kicks out the Chaz Hutchinson on top of the key, trying to get some cutting action. Chaz tries to drive on Sebastian Zerpta, kicks it out to Ryan Blackman. Blackman right side, kicks it to uh, Staff on that, drives right on the baseline. Yeah. He pushed off with his left arm. Yep. You know, Jimmy Reyes moved his feet. He's a little danger of getting his fourth foul there, but he moved his feet, used his quickness. Staff fouled him. Yep. Saddleback ball. Yep. As uh, Rubio brings the bounce the ball to Elijah Debron. Only the first foul on Ronnie Staff, so another key player that's got no real issues right now with fouls as we get under 10 minutes. Yep. All right, as a Rubido, I mean, uh, Reyes drives up on the right side to Rubido on the right side. He steps to Session Search to top of the key. Uh, a little bit, bit lazy there, but yep. he got away with it. Yeah, because the Charles Irving, Irving top of the key, drives left on the elbow of the free throw line. He's the junior Reyes on the right side, tries to move everywhere. Up, stop, pull up, jumper. Oh, just terrible. I got a little piece on that one by uh, yeah, Ryan Block. There was on a that. deflection on that. All right, staff dribbles up on the right side near the edge of the three point line. Here we go. Zerpa, nice job. Yep, Zerpa, everyone on defense so far. Good minutes off the bench, energy guy. He's out to call uh, Blackman for three. Three point lead for the Hornets on that. Big shot right yep, there. That's one of their players off the bench who yep. was going to need to contribute and yep. just hit a big three point. Making that a 52 49 Hornets lead as uh, Rubido brings up the corner on the left side. Because of the Charles Irving. Irving with the ball, trying to figure out what to do. Draw a play up, drives to the basket, trying to get some foul. They're going to get an offensive foul on you the ball for that one. Yep. No subs yet, folks. Nope. Let's see what the call is. Some they got Charles Irving there, and, you know, he made an aggressive, strong play. That's how he plays. Yep. And but that one may be a little bit of the old player control foul type thing. I don't know, I guess. But we're going to look, you know, Sebastian Zerba did a really nice job defensively last time down to switch out on Javon Jones, mm -hmm. or not Javon Jones, but uh, yeah. Ryan Blockman, Blockman bring up and the then switch back on to Gavin Ramirez before they could get the easy post play. Yep. As, as Hutchinson drills in the paint for a layup on Gerald Jones. Nice got in, move. and it's good. Making it a five-point game for the Fulton Hornets. And there's oh. ten points in the paint now for Fullerton here in this half. Yep, after 50, only four in the first half. Yep, 54 to 49 Hornets over Southback College. Well, four for Hutchinson in the first yep. half, I should say. But now they, they are starting to go to the paint now. There we go. He with the ball, drills right side, kicks out to Rubido. Rubido with the ball, the bones to separation, bone with the ball. So he's trying to double and trap more. He goes, bone dribbles to the paint, pulls up for the layup, rims nice out, shot, yeah. rims everywhere, but it rimmed in. So I think it's a two points, yeah. making a Bobcat 51, Fullerton uh, 40, 54. That was put your shoulder down, find an angle, drive through it, and get a shot up and in. And it did nice go in. Nice job by Nick Bowden. Yeah, you know, and it was soft too. Yep. It wasn't a. All right, Blackman dribbles up, kicks it out to Chaz Hutchinson, kicks it out to Step for three. Oh, uh, he didn't uh, need the dribble. It threw nope. him off. Rebound for Fullerton. Drives in for the layup for Blackman. It's wow. good. Two-point wow. game. Good cut hustle on that one. Making it 56-51 for a south oh, And then Blackman comes and gets the steal on Eli yep. from behind. Yep. He's contributed. That's five points in the last minute and a half. And then that big steal right yep. there. Some depth. Some depth. Yeah, Rubido's uh, in pain right now. Shoulders uh, isn't working right. Maybe like bonk shoulders on the rebound. This, uh, Fullerton with the ball. Yep, there we go with uh, Charles up to three for a step, and Gavin is off, rebound for Salback. All right, it's shoulder period as uh, Tiba Toe dribbles up on the left side. Five-point game, Bobcats 51, Fullerton 56, Tiba drives left, 
See the defender bumps out to Rubido for the layup. It's good. That's so Sh pretty. His shoulder's still in pain on the team, is still favoring his right shoulder. It's uh, 53 for Bobcats to sell back, and then Florida's 56. As, 14. Uh, 14 now for Derek Rubido. Good All player. in the paint. Great guy. Staff All with the ball. 6-2 and 3 eighths of yeah. him. You know. Hey, Colin Reed with the ball. Kicks it out to Chaz Hutchinson. Kicks it out to uh, Staff for three in the corner. It's good. Yeah. Six-point game. Hornets with 59. Bobcats 53. Right, with that Again, a, an in and out kind of movement by Fullerton. Yep. All right, Bun with the ball. Rubido kicks out to uh, Irving for a pull up mid range jump shot. It's Eli, good. Eli Debron. With two of his own for the, uh, Debron. Just makes it a 55 for the Bobcats. Fullerton 59 with uh, 6 30 left to play in the game as uh, Ryan Blackman dribbles up the court on the right side. This is where Saddleback is just going to have to shut down the drive lanes and box out. And yep. if, they, if they make a shot over you, and you had a hand in your face, okay, so be it. Yep, there's Ramirez with the ball, dribbles oh, right. Strong move by Ramirez. The lamp is good. Yeah, that's one that uh, Derek Rubido did a great job. He turned him, mm -hmm. but going against the 6'6 six guy, he's giving up yeah. four, about four inches in height, and yeah. Gavin Ramirez can put the ball in the hoop as he just did. There you go, Bill with the ball, with Gerald Jones on the right side elbow, giving it to Rubido top of the key, a team of left side elbow, drives in with the ball, and they'll do the kicked out to Nick Bone for three in the corner, Ooh. it's good! Splash, all net, nothing Whoa. but net, making it a Bobcats 58 to Hornets 61 of Fullerton, timeout. That was an off-balance uh, pass by Atiba Taylor and, and an off-balance off shot three. by Nick Bowden. And the off-balance plus off-balance equaled yeah. three points in the Two scoreboard. Is equal positive. That was interesting. Atiba, you know, drove the baseline. The trees were there. He didn't try and do anything fancy going by the rim. So he kicked it out to Nick, who wasn't really, I don't think, expecting it because he thought Atiba was going to shoot and then caught it off his left leg, guy, and then just drilled it from deep in the corner. That was pretty. That was yeah, nice. Probably practiced that a hundred times yeah, a game. Yeah, you know, it's one of those ones where it's just the feel between the two guys, and, and when Nick got the ball, it was right in the, sh the wheelhouse to shoot, and he got it off quickly as they were closing out. So, again, another three-pointer. Uh, Saddleback's got three made threes here in the second half. Uh, Fullerton has four made threes. Again, it's a disparity you would have maybe have expected with the uh, saddleback is matching them basket for basket mm -hmm. in the paint yeah. and you know saddleback was happy to see fullerton rely on the three-pointer for much of the first half like they did because they took you know nine thousand three pointers in the first half and it's yeah. like that you got six eight six nine down in the post but that's the way they play and we understand that we're not saying we're not going to second guess barry webster on how they coach him it's just how they play but with the size advantage they had against Saddleback, it was just expected maybe that they would try and pound it a little bit more down on the block. Now they're doing that off of the drive kick and isolate a guy on the wing after the kickers are uh, skip pass, either one. It's working. Yeah, Brian Blackman dribbles the ball on the left side. There's a player action going back to staff, top of the key. Team Taylor on him, as always. He's out to uh, Colin Reed on that. They feed uh, again Reed River in the post. Yeah, Ramirez uh, made a flash cut to the post. He got the ball from the corner, and then he went underneath baseline strong. That's Gerald Jones, and that's going to yep. be his fourth. And yep. that's, that's going to be a problem. If, you know, he goes out, the Bobcats will be, you know, 6-3 and smaller for the rest of the game. Yep, more small ball versus tall ball. Yeah. Ramirez first three free throw. Yeah. Just off. Ball, don't lie. <laughs> I don't think Tanner agreed with the call there on Gerald, uh, Gerald Jones the third, but uh, yeah, either way, Ramirez. Second free throw. It's good. Making a four point game. The Fortson College Hornets 62, Sabah College 58. Tiba Taylor has the ball, bring it up. Nope, tennis off to Nick Bowden. I bring it up center court, guarded by. Uh, Ryan Blackman. I'd like to see the Bobcats do the UCLA high post again with Atiba Taylor coming off of the high screen from Gerald, or, yeah, from Gerald Jones. Yeah, Atiba Taylor driving in for a lip. It's good, making a four-point game. Or you can just do that. I mean, it's Atiba you know. Taylor. You can score from anything anyway. Or you can just anyway. do that. The worst yeah, the worst. Nicely done from the elbow, penetrating down. Yep, 60 point, 60 for Southback College, and now 62 for Tim. Blackman as well gets a strip. Does he get a pick going? Uh, good defense by Bowden. Bowden off the ball gives it to Reyes. Reyes trying to get some, trying to get a steal off uh, Colin Reed. She drives in the basket. Trying to do with it. Kicks out to the staff. Top of the key. Kicks out to Bo uh, Blackman on the left side elbow. Kicks out to staff. Top of the three point line. Trying to figure out what to do with it. Kicks out to three pointer from uh, uh, Ryan, Ryan Blackman. Blackman. It's good. Five point game for uh, the huge Hornets. Huge here in the second half. Yep, it's eight points off the bench. Much needed scoring punch for him. 
because they needed it for Fulton if they want to pull away with this game. Team Toad with the ball, top of the key. A pull up, step back three, right side. Ah, oh, just rimming it out. out. Rebound, Fulton. Jazz Hutchinson blocked out well, and Gerald Jones controlled the rebound. The Hornets trying to extend a five point lead. Yep, dribbles the game away. Blackman dribbles up the court towards center court. Gets a pick from Chaz Hutchinson. Not really much, just trying to get a foul, I see. And they give it out to Colin Reed. Reed the ball, elbow, top of the key. Driving in, trying to get a pick and roll. Looks for the defense. A step, top of the key. There he is, top of the key, actually. Then he tries to pull up. Trying to do. Pulls up for a mid range jump shot. It's good. Seven point game Ronnie for uh, Fullerton. 17 points unofficially for Ronnie to lead all scorers. Uh, he's done a great job. Yep, getting himself open and finding ways to create shots. And they did a nice job off a set pattern right there with two high picks, and then he stepped back from behind him and, and knocked down a 17-footer. Yep, great play all around by uh, Fullerton. They're trying to pull away, showing that they are the reason they just lost their first conference game a couple days ago, because they're a great team. They can make shots, tough shots, easy shots, no matter what. Great team all around. Yeah. And showing you with their depth and everything. That's right, Tanner. I mean, they are, you know, they're 20-2 they're and two overall. overall, and they're 10-1 and one in the conference. Lost Tuesday night to Riverside, first conference loss. Uh, Kobe Newton went out with an ankle injury in that game. He's their leading scorer, and that hurt them. But they've come back tonight. You could see maybe missing a little bit of offensive cohesion mm -hmm. early on. But here in the second half, I think they're playing how they've played all season, mm -hmm. where they're getting drives and kicks and drives and cuts, and they're finding ways to get easy shots. They've got 14 in the paint here in the second half. You know, and they, in the in the latter part of the first half, they started getting points in the paint after like none in the first 10 minutes. Yeah. And you look at six seven, six eight, six nine, six four out there, and you're going, how the heck do they only have these amount of points in the paint? Well, the offense just wasn't clicking, and now I think it is. But the Bobcats, hey, they've come back from bigger deficits and shorter amount of time. We've seen that against San Diego Canyon a couple yep. of weeks ago. So, right, four minutes to go. Yep, Bobcats 60, so, uh, Fullerton uh, 67 with 358, and counting down with Bone Bream with the ball, top of the middle of the court. Three to Tiba Taylor, good bullet pass. Tiba drives left, pulls up, wants the foul, just off, rebound, Fullerton. It was a nice move by Atiba. Yeah. You know, he realizes he's the one that's going to have to make things happen offensively. The ball just didn't drop. He had to get it over two six 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 eight guys, yep. you know, jumping at him. Yep, here we go, Fullerton with the ball, dribbles up, gives it the step, top of the, uh, about right, middle key-ish, that area. There you get a screen for Chats. Nice pick by Hutchinson. Yep, pulls up three. Yeah. It's good. A Ten point game. Great He's on fire right now. Screen by Chaz Hutchinson. Ronnie Stapp came off it, scores 20 points now unofficially. Mm -hmm. And that was just a good, solid basketball play on both yep. ends. That's before it's needed the uh, triple away from this game. Spears with the ball, lose control a little bit. Dribble sticks out to Nick Bowden. Bowden with the ball, fixed pass. Try to get some separation a little bit. Here we go, guys. Fake screen from Atiba. Talk to Atiba as he drives left again. Throws up Gerald Jones for the putback. Ah, just off on that one. Gerald Double wasn't play. sure to go up and grab it and or, you know, wait for it. And he was up in the air and he volleyballed it. Yeah. Going that kind of stuff. There he goes. Atiba Taylor tries to get defense with the ball back. A lot of, a lot of trapping by a side back. They're playing like a team that's hungry right now. Trying to figure out what to do with that. Ramirez. All right, gets the step. Driven the ball. Trying to figure out what to do with it. Turn out the clock a little bit because they have the lead. Making There's sure. that high pick again. This yep. time they played it well. Gerald yep. Jones Jeff Mears for three. Oh, bounces a little too short on that one. Bounce off the backboard. Two toe dribbles up. Gives it to Bowden. Bowden the ball left side. Good There's defense by Saddleback. Feet weren't set. It fell on Blackman up top. Yep. Feet weren't set on that one. No. Nope. All right. No bonus yet. Yep. All right. Score is Fullerton Hornets 70. Bobcats Saddleback 60 with two minutes and 25 remaining. Yeah, they need to they need the three ball right yeah, now. Yeah, the spark of offense right now. It'll be too little too late. Jimmy Reyes dribbles up. Yeah. Takes it out to Splash in the corner for three. It's good. Pretty splash nothing but net on that one, making it a seven-point game again. Sebastian Zerpa, you know, he does a lot of things offensively. He does a lot of things defensively. He's just like Derek Rubido, kind of just that solid all-around game. And there's but a big, the th big three-pointer off the bench right there. Yeah, yeah so it's great so. to have a guy like that coming off the bench. Cuts it to seven. Now, Tanner, while we're in timeout here with 2.16 to play, we need to thank our Saddleback College Department of CTVR technical engineering staff who have brought you this YouTube channel streaming video and also Melody Terrari back at the studio for KSBR.org bringing you this game on KSBR HD2 radio. Wonderful job by them as always. We've got another game coming up uh, next Wednesday, the 23rd against Riverside at 5 p.m. 
and we that may be a simulcast as well it will be on the youtube channel live stream beginning at 5 p.m and uh, you may catch us on ksbr radio as well that night but it's been a lot of fun being able to bring these to you and we still got some more to go because my hunch is that the bobcats are going to make it to the playoffs and if they can win one of their last two next week they'll get a home game yep Everyone for a full court press by defense by uh, Fullerton. They make the easy layup on that one, making it a nine point game. The Hornets uh, 72 to Hornets and then South Back College 63. Ryan Blockman with 10 points here in the second half off the bench. Great job. Yeah, this is Jimmy Reyes. This is Tiba Taylor. Trying to do, trying to explode the mismatch. And they doubled on that as he drives in on the left side for the foul. Good foul by uh, Tiba Taylor drawing skills. Yeah, Best foul drawing the game. By the way, our chief engineer for Saddleback CTVR is Matt Broday. Rima Panina helping out tonight. The whole team is, does a great job keeping us smooth. And look at that picture you get, folks. Picture and, and hear us, too. And, they even, and that's right. You can hear our beautiful voices, and you can see the beautiful pictures that the camera. You may have mu muted me by now, but uh, you know you never know. First beat for Tiba Taylor is good. Making it at 64, 72. It's still doable with a minute 56, Tanner. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen uh, Stranger Things. Yeah, it, it's, you got to clamp down and get some steals. Yep. Maybe you may have to put them in the one and one. Your next foul puts them in the one and one, so you may have to do that. Yeah, maybe some Reggie Miller or Tracy McGrady, seven points in six seconds uh, shenanigans. Yeah, so As they're doing a full court press action for uh, Southback College. Down seven. There you go. Yep, and there's the foul by Atiba, smart play. And he's, he fouled Chaz Hutchinson, so that probably a good move because that'll be one and one for Hutchinson. And yep. the big guy from Mission Viejo, the freshman, the 6'9 center on the year, you know, he's a good free throw. He's 63.3%. It's not money in the for bank. For a big man, but it's it, okay. It's doable, so, but still, it's a good guy to foul in this yeah. situation. See if, be a, see if a hack of Hutchinson can work. A hack of Hutch. First free throw is yeah, good. Well, that, that didn't look like a 63 percenter right there. No, that looks like a hundred percent right yeah, now. Yeah, that's a pretty. <laughs> that's a pretty stat. Yep. 73 One. Fullerton Hornets, 65 South Back College, 150 left in the game. Second one good. The hack of Hutch does not work that time. No, nope, let's reverse for Shaq and Ben Simmons. Jazz Hutchinson with a beautiful yeah, set of free throws. Race with the ball dribbling your right side, drives to the pink, kicks nice. out to Rubido for the layup. Look it's at been, been working Rubido. all game. It worked right now. We get a 67 for Sal back, 74. 16 for Derek unofficially, all yep. in the paint. Yep. On the great passes. Court. Jimmy Reyes with the assist on that one. Yep. Did he get the Got a timeout, timeout. Fullerton on the full court pressure. On that one. Yeah. I think that's why. Perry Webster got up and got the timeout. Mm -hmm. It's 67 for the Bobcats, the Southback, and 74 for the Fulton Hornets with a, money, a minute 30 left in the game. Both teams are in the bonus now. Uh, I expect you know Saddleback to foul instantly on yeah, in so every Fullerton possession. Try, try Hudson part two. Yeah, Hack well, you know, that those two free throws look so good and so routine that I don't know. I mean, by percentages, maybe he's the guy. They'll see who's, let's see what they got on the floor and see what their percentages are. Uh, Ryan Blackman, 76%, Ramirez, 76%, Hutchinson, 63%, Tristan Williams, 82%, Ronnie Stapp, 83%. I mean, they, they don't have a lot of bad free throw shooters, so if Hutchinson is your best bet statistically, I guess that's who you got to foul. You know, you got to be careful about who fouls, but right now, if you lose Reyes or Gerald Jones, that's what you got to do. Yep. I don't think they're going to have Gerald Jones in the game because they're going with a quick lineup. Trying to get the, uh, the the steal off the press. Yeah, they got uh, Sebastian Zerpa in, along with Derek Rubido, Atiba Taylor, Jimmy Reyes, and Nick Bowden, the other four starters. Small ball versus big ball, tall ball. Yeah. Who will win with uh, seven minute 30 left, 67 in Saddleback College, 74, fourth and Hornets. Yeah, it's ball out of bounds, Fullerton in their backcourt. Everybody in the ball, trying to give it to... Traffic full court. Yep, to Blackman. Blackman kicks it out to Corey Joseph, dribbling up the court a little bit. There we go. Blow by, stop on the right side. Trying to get a play after. Maybe just run out the clock a little more because they do have a seven point game, which is about three to four possessions. I don't want you to do. Phillips, the drive. The worst of Blackman. their free throwers out there with at 50% just into yeah. the game. Oh, uh, that's offensive, about, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Man, Jimmy Reyes, smartest defender I've ever seen. Yeah. 
Yeah, Corey Blackman thought he was just going to physical his way to the basket because he's been hot and doing so much for him this half. But that was just, you know, he forced it. And yeah, Reyes is like a Kyle Lowry type, low undersized, can grab grab a lot of charges, which you wouldn't expect from a point guard. But yeah, like Kyle Lowry, undersized guys, a little more rotund. No disrespect to either men, but they both know what they have to set their feet in the right placement as Reyes brings the ball up the court. Good things happen in basketball when you move your feet. Yep. Here is the ball top of the key, try to get some separation, gives it to Sebastian Zerpa, try to figure out what to do, draw a play action, try to cut minute left in the game. Bobcat's got to get a shot of separation for Rubido. Maybe pull up three for there, kicks out to Sebastian Zerpa, top of the key three. Oh, oh, just rims in and out. out. Sebastian Rubido. Zerpa, there, I mean, uh, uh, Rubido on the rebound. Good to keep the play alive, keep the ropes alive. For Rubido, corner three on the left side. It's oh, good. Makes it a ten, uh, seven, four point game for. Uh, Step back college 70. 19 now for Derek Rubido. Don't expect that unofficially. No, I mean that's not the scoring. You know he's been a three five point a game guy just because they haven't needed his scoring. And he contributes in so many other different you know ways. In this game he's just you know putting the ball in the hoop every chance he gets. Most of them in the paint. That's his first three pointer. But what a time to get it. With yep 70 70 for Salah back with the uh, Hornets with 74 40 46 remaining in the game. Seconds wise round up 45. But you know yep. they, they need that point four in my opinion for Salah back if they want to come back from this deficit with a four point deficit here with 44 seconds 44.6 i think you let them run the clock or you should they just go for a foul already i think you make one quick try to get the steal off of the inbounds play Doesn't but work. if you don't get it off the very first pass or trap you just foul because you don't want that clock to run down under like 36. yeah you know. 14 seconds four minutes left eh. yeah you really got to make it quick because you're down four it's two possessions no timeouts left yeah and there, there you go no timeouts left Excellent pickup there by Tanner Aparicio. So Fullerton's got two timeouts left, but like I said, both teams are in the bonus. Uh, they've got a 50% free thrower out there on the floor in uh, Corey Joseph. He's the worst statistically. I think that's probably just because he hasn't shot many this season. Yeah, kind of like a Lonzo Ball type right. or like a Bruce Bowen. Yeah, yeah, you know, and we haven't even seen him shoot a free throw, so he might have a perfect stroke and he yeah. might be one for two on the season. We just yeah. have a percentage on him, you know, so. Yep. It's statistics. Who are you going to foul? I think it's the first guy that gets yep. the ball. Tallest guy gets the ball. Gets the ball. Yep, Hutchinson again. Will they try that up? Yep. He has a deflection. Do they get the steal? Oh, no. Nope. With uh, Corey Joseph in the ball. I think he's going the wrong way. Jump ball. Oh, they got all the jump ball, and possession arrow goes to Fullerton. Yep. And good job of the Bobcats. I thought they might have gotten the foul a little quicker there once Hutchinson got the inbounds pass, but he looked so good on the first two free throws when they fouled him a minute ago. I guess that wasn't the best plan. So 39.2 now, Tanner. Yep. 39.2, 25 seconds left from the shot clock. See if they can get it in time. They bound the ball. Hutchinson trying to do a little switch handoff. Hutchinson jumps it out to Blackman. I'm trying to figure out what to do. He's like just at the free throw line. The Bobcats were elected. Oh, they got a 10 yeah. second violation. Good defense by Sabat College. That's what they needed. No fouls given up. No, only the minimum requirement to get the ball, and they got it. I'm thinking the shot clock probably should have reset after the possession arrow. Yeah, it should have reset to 30 because. Yeah, that was not uh, 11 seconds that I saw. There's 33 on the game clock. Well, yep, so no, can bounce the ball. No, no replay here in community college basketball. Of course, so. Taylor with the ball. It's a pick by, by uh, Sebastian Zerker. Lose control of the ball. Pick up for Jimmy Reyes. Whether it's the ball, trying to get a pick for someone. Trying to find an open shooter. Reyes drives in. Trying for the layup. Oh. Uh, oh, just off right for the ball. Who had it? Goes to Fullerton. The referees yeah. looked at each other. Everybody yeah. looked at each other, and the ball goes to Fullerton. 20 seconds left. Still yep. a four-point game. I, yeah. Now, now you, you have foul. to foul. Yeah, no shot clock. That's right. Yeah, Trey Trey Oliver just make sure Rush is going to get the ball, in my opinion. Nope, getting the court of Joseph. Trying to do with yeah, it. He gets him and foul him. And they didn't get to him and foul him. No, I think, I think they're just trying to play for the violation. Yeah. There you go. They got they fouled the. See, quote, Jeff quote. Oliver wanted the foul earlier. You can see yeah. he was down there giving them the yeah, universal yeah, hack them signal, and the yeah, Bobcats let a lot of noise. Ten seconds go off the clock, and that's that's dangerous right now when see you're down four. Up. There you go, Corey Joseph. Yeah, I mean, 50 percent on the season, but uh, like two attempts in yeah, total. Yeah, did not a lot of attempts. So that's the first free throw. Oh, it is off. Okay, rebound. Oh, Fullerton. Ah, big tap out size, by Ramirez yeah. there. So. And they get a quick foul there. Nick Bowden Should have more than that. gave a foul to uh, Blackman. He'll go to the line now. 9.8 seconds left. Hornets of Fullerton, 74. Bobcats have settled back college, 70. As Blackman goes for the free throws. Still one and one. They're not in the double bonus yet. But 9.8, four-point game if he makes, you know, either one of these. It's already very difficult down four. But With this, no timeouts remaining. Yeah. First free throw is good. Blackman. That's uh, 11 points here in the second half for him. 
But Fulton needed to get, get over the hump on this game. Great spark off the bench by Blackman. Let's see, see what, what uh, Cybuck will do with the uh, 10 seconds remaining in two possession game. 75, Fulton, 70 Bobcats of Saddleback. All right, Blackman goes for the second free throw, taking a deep breath. Lefty. It's Soft. good, six point game. Sophomore guard out of Culver City, left hands it up there both times, and boom, boom. It's better to see left hand to play, miss a free throw. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how many soft touches we see on the left hand. Atiba Taylor, Gerald Jones. Yep, you know, just great inbound, left Atiba Taylor. Almost got that, trying to figure out what to do. Matchup, drives to the basket. The layup, uh, ah. just off, rebound, Fullerton, Hutchinson. Yes, Hutchinson. I think it's around the clock, game's over. And that will do it, yep. folks. Finals, all right, that brings you to the final score of the game. Fullerton College of Hornets pull it out with a win of 76 points. Sideback College, 70. That brings the end of the game. An overall great game by both teams. So Mark, what were your final thoughts on the game? Well, it was interesting to see in the first half how little Fullerton relied on their size and were content to shoot a lot of perimeter stuff. And then late in the first half, when they were down, they started getting points in the paint. And then in the second half, a lot of drive and kick, a lot of drive and penetrate and hit cutters. And they used their talent and their size to just kind of overmatch Saddleback, which went a little cold shooting because Fullerton picked up its defense. You see why they're you know now 11 and one in conference and yeah, one game away from you know, yeah. kind of clinching it. If they can, uh, they they played Riverside twice already, so I believe they played Riverside twice already. I have to check my homework again on that. Now the Bobcats uh, eight and six now in conference. Uh, depending on what Irvine Valley does, they'll either be tied for fourth or in fifth by themselves. And still looking really good for uh, CCC AA Southern Regional Berth because they're, you know, playing well and, and peaking kind of at the right time, and that's what the selection committee looks for. So I would say if they can maintain their their place in the conference, that they should get a, a playoff game, and you know, with the way it plays out, maybe even a home game. But we're back here next Wednesday when the Bobcats retake the floor again against uh, Riverside, in which will be another big key matchup because Riverside's hungry to try and catch Fullerton for the conference title. Maybe let's hope like the so the, like the conference already finished up already, so the Riverside wants to play with the full 100 effort to clinch the playoffs. You know they can rest their guys, get ready for the playoffs. So the Subback College have an easy matchup, but you never know in, the t in about a week. So that was Tanner Parisio and Mark Spin from Subback College CTVR's YouTube channel and uh, KSBR HD2. We bid you ad adieu. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next Wednesday.